Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the finished Port Royal Street revampment project. We are now, we were, the video started on South Camp Road but we're now going on to Port Royal Street. Now this project had, this project involved renovating Port Royal Street which you see was done. It's a very nice six lane road now. Three lanes on this side, three on the other side. Nicely paved, white lines. Very nicely done. You can see the murals painted on the right. And then right in front of the mural is a boardwalk that has the bricks where you can a boardwalk similar to what's on the Palisado Strip. And you can walk or jog on it and those kind of things. Now on the right is a parking lot where you can park to go and walk and also fish and those kind of things you can have you can rent areas out here and have functions so we're just going to spin back around and take a, another look at the port royal street revetment project some persons refer to it as the kingston waterfront project but it's the correct name is a port royal street revetment project now they built a revetment wall on the shoreline so that's why it's called Port Royal Street Revampment Project. That's how the word revampment comes into it because of the shoreline. All right, so we're just going to spin back around here and we're driving through the Raytown area in central Kingston. So on the left is the Raytown Fishing Village. And that sign says Raytown Fishing Beach. Right, so this project was done through the Jamaica Social Investment Fund. They built the actual, they were in charge of the building of the road. But I'm sure the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation was, maybe not. They usually deal with most of these roads and the NWA, but this one was done by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund. But now that the project is finished, there you can see the reverse, you can see the revampment wall that was built okay so this project is now managed by the KSAMC Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation so they are now in charge of the project or are in charge of the facility the boardwalk everything and there is a very nice view of the boardwalk. So this boardwalk runs from here all the way back to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. Very nicely done. It has definitely beautified the area. On the right is the Tower Street Correctional Facility, it's a prison. There was some talk once about moving the prison, but it's a very expensive venture. So I don't think it's going to be done right now. As you can see, the road is nicely paved. You have the paintings on the seawall. You have the boardwalk. Very nicely done, I must say. Government did an excellent job on this project. And hopefully there are many more areas in Jamaica that will be renovated like this and then there is a very nice view of the Kingston Harbour this is another area where you can park and there are some fishing boats down there It's a very nice view of the Kingston skyline, the downtown Kingston skyline. Now a few of those buildings are new. The building all the way to the right with the 100 on it, that's the Grace Kennedy building that was recently built. The building beside that now to the left is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade building which was recently built. And then beside that is with the building with the black glass, 
that's the Scotia Centre. Now, because of the angle we're looking at, you wouldn't see it, but that is, the Scotia Centre is the second tallest building in Jamaica. The second tallest. It's the tallest building in downtown Kingston, but because of the angle, it looks like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs building is taller, but the Scotia Centre is actually taller. The only building taller than the Scotia Centre is the Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston. Then to the left of the Scotia Centre, that's the Bank of Jamaica building. And then to the left of the Bank of Jamaica building, the white building all the way to the left, that's the new ROK Hotel that was recently opened. The building was built many years ago. It was just renovated to the, for the hotel to open. But it was actually the Oceana Hotel before. When it was originally built, it was the Oceana Hotel and then a few ministries of the government occupied the building. I think the last one was the Ministry of Health. And then the ROK Hotel took it over and renovated it. So as you can see, the boardwalk runs all the way down to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. And so does the, the paved roadway. This is where the boardwalk ends and also this is where the paved road ends. So hopefully another project will come along that will involve paving the road from where it ended all the way back to all the way back to Marcus Garvey Drive. Okay, here's a very nice view of the Scotia Center. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.